Salty was a very nice diesel that worked at Brandon Dock. He knows how to be serious and keep the trucks entertained. But the thing that Salty is best at is telling pirate stories or pirate legends. Especially to Bill and Ben. Oh, one day on the old railway, me joy her, and I found something amazing. Arr. Oh, tell us more, tell us more, Salty. Well, as we search deeper and deeper into the ground, me and I driver found a buried treasure under the ground. Arr. Oh, that's amazing, Salty. Is there more? That never happened, Bulgy interrupted. Well, that's what the engines call him. His real name was Bullstrode. The engines call him Bulgy Number Two, however. <laughs> what you talking about, me, Hearty? Your stories aren't true, Salty. And you suck at telling them. You're really not good at doing it. You never found a treasure. <laughs> you ain't never been on the old railway, Cranky. <laughs> then Gordon intervened. Stop telling lies to the other engine, Salty. What, I'm just telling a few stories or two. Besides, you're too small to tell anything as interesting as treasure, Salty. <laughs> now move aside, you two. You're blocking the line. Oh, come on, Gordon. Yeah, you're no fun. Usually, Salty didn't take anything that the other rude engines said, but that time, he actually took it to heart. One morning, Thomas had to pull a small train to the Farquhar branch, but he was too slow to start up, so Salty was the one to take it. Oh, finally a day off. Well, have a good day, Cranky. I'll go off now. I have work to do. Salty was very excited to pull a train on his own. He didn't really like going other places than the docks, but if it were only for a train, that he'd be very happy. As Salty went off, he sang, and the trucks followed with him. Salty, tell us another one, Salty. However, the diesel stopped, trying to focus for a second. Hey, what did you stop singing for? Hey, Harry, if you lost me, Harry. I don't remember this being told by the controller. The trucks. Thinking that Salty was being pretty silly, looked around for a second too. Heh! <laughs> You're right! Where are we? I don't know. All I can see is a truck's backside. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, Jill, this is pretty serious. Oh, really? It doesn't seem like that to me. <laughs> Surprisingly, Salty was on an abandoned part of the branch line that no one had ever seen. As Salty came to a stop, he was appalled. Well, blow me, he appalled. Well, if it isn't a... Abandoned station! But it'd be so perfect! Why is it abandoned? All it needs is a bit of cleaning. Suddenly, Mavis arrived from behind. <sighs> Finally. Hey, Mavis, what are you doing here? You went to the wrong line, Salty, but wow. Wow. This? This looks beautiful. Great job, Salty. When Sir Tubbermire has arrived to see he was quite surprised it was an old station that the coffee pot engines went to for a break where it had a carriage shed not too far away 
Sir Topham Hatch had officially said that the place needed to be reopened again and back to service. But in some way, however, I guess you could say that Salty did find treasure after all.